Alright, hello guys, um, this is Jonathan Penham here with uh, Electric Imp on behalf of Ray Kushin Yeshiva High School. Before we start with this uh, tutorial, I'd like to thank Electric Imp for donating these uh, Electric Imp and an April Impy. They donated two, actually. And I would also like to thank my friend Sammy Cherna for uh, reaching out to Electric Imp and getting us these development boards. Alright, so uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect this to the internet. I have already done it myself, but I'll still explain to you how it's uh, supposed to be done. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to get a few basic uh, codes, example codes, up onto your electric imp. So first of all, let's start taking a look at the electric imp. The electric imp um, looks like an SD card, but it isn't. It's a really powerful microcontroller inside here. It's like a Cortex or something. I forgot how what it was called. And um, it's connected to the well. It could be connected to the Wi-Fi, and Mikey, come on. And then it, there's this um, April MP. There's several you could pick from. April is the most basic, um, which you connect an electric imp into. You need an MP to um, get your electric imp started. You can make your own, but this one is uh, easier. Um, if we let me get this here. If you look here, there are uh, um, eight pins. And there's also a micro, not micro, mini USB port right over here. It's the stuff that's used on like PSBs and stuff like that. It's not the same one that is used on your phone. There's also a jumper here if you want to change the battery power from USB to battery. Um, I'm going to use uh, USB. I just so happen to have a USB cable here. All right, so now um, let's, uh, let's connect it. I have ready um, connected to the Internet, so let me just give you a basic um, overview on how it's done. First, you have to connect it to you have to connect your electric imp inside your MP, and then let's go over here and connect the, the my USB to my um, USB to my computer, and you can see mine is blinking green red. It's connecting to the internet. If you're the first time doing this, you would take an Android or iOS. You just saw it blinked green, or if you didn't, whatever. That just means it's connected. If this is your first time, you take an Android or iOS device. You download the electric imp app. I have right over here. You're probably not able to see it. And then you'd get it, you would put in your information, you would sign in. And then um let's not focus on this, let's focus on this. And then you would um uh, then you would, you know, click on the server, not the server, the router, and then you would send the blink up. I had no success with this phone right over here. I tried several times. I tried with the lights off, I tried with my hands covering the side, I've tried everything. So then I tried with the tablet which is actually filming right now, so therefore I can't show you how to do it. And it worked after two tries. So if you're, you don't have any luck, try using a different device or keep on trying. Okay, so uh, that is basically it. There are, if you get a bunch of blink codes and you don't know what they mean, go on uh, Electric Imp's website, they have a, um, they, they have a key to those uh, uh, LED lights. So um, that's it for us. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll look back for our next video about programming this Shugana.